Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this thing that I do. I, of course, am Brendan, the chili dork. Ding! And today, I wanted to talk to you about Hatch Chili. Notice I didn't say Hatch Chilies, or try to explain what a Hatch Chili is. That's because there is no one strain that is a Hatch Chili. And what do I mean? Okay, first of all, there's no such thing as a Hatch Chili because Hatch is only a growing region in New Mexico where they grow New Mexican pod types. That's it. What do I mean? A New Mexican pod type is a particular kind of chili. Not necessarily its own strain, but a type. Like you'll see a cayenne type or a Thai type. There's more than one of these. The New Mexican pod type was developed in the early 1900s by a gentleman named Dr. Fabian Garcia. He was actually one of the first graduating classes, if not the first, I don't recall off the top of my head, from New Mexican State University, New Mexico State University. He was head of the horticultural department there. And nope, I was wrong. He actually became the director of their Agricultural Experiment Station and Extension Service in 1913. And decided to breed a chili that had really good yield, it was a little milder, and it was perfect for selling and, and all these other things. And depending on your source, it's, uh, it was 1913, 1917, 1920, 1921, whatever. He developed a pod type and he called it New Mexico Number no. 9. New Mexico pod types, or as I will refer to them also as New Mex types. Um, how do I describe them? Well, hold on, I think I... Okay, good, I have some with me. You never know what I've got in my pockets. So, a New Mexican pod type is gonna look a lot like this. It's gonna be wider on the top, pointy at the bottom. It's gonna be long like this. It's gonna look a lot like this because these are New Mexican pod types. They're sold in grocery stores as Anaheim. So this is a New Mexican pod type. There's a lot of different ones. There's the Big Jim, which everyone knows about. Well, maybe not everybody, but there's the Big Jim, which grows to be huge. They actually have the Guinness record for biggest chili. Sandia, Española, 6'4", all, all these other kinds. And it's just a pod type, and there's different kinds of it and different heat levels. So, the Hatch Valley is a place where they grow New Mexican pod types, and it's called Hatch Chili. But there is no one strain called the Hatch Chili. It kind of bothers me when places sell Hatch Chili. as a strain or as a seed pack. I've even seen places sell hatch green and hatch red as if your green pod isn't going to turn red if you leave it on the plant. I just think that's stupid, but neither here nor there. Because it's a regional area, you can't grow hatch chili anywhere but the Hatch Valley of New Mexico. If you're growing something that was labeled hatch chili and you're in Wisconsin or Tennessee or, or Montana, I don't know, you're not growing hatch chili. You're growing a New Mexican pod type in your area. Hatch chili is the same as saying Florida orange or Wisconsin cheese, Washington apple, Idaho potato, things like that. You can't grow hatch unless you're in the Hatch Valley. And even in New Mexico, you can't sell things labeled hatch without proper certification, which I really like. The point is, hatch chili is the New Mexican pod type grown in the Hatch Valley area of New Mexico. Anything else is not Hatch Chili. You can go to the grocery store, even this time of year, and they're starting to carry Hatch Chilies. And I've seen signs that say, Hatch Chili, product of Mexico. And I'm like, nope, no it's not. Even places will say, Hatch Chili, product of New Mexico. That might not be Hatch because it may be grown 10 miles outside of the Hatch Valley, which technically speaking would not be Hatch Chili. So I've kind of went on and on about this. I think I touched on everything I wanted to say about it. The thing is with these videos, I just kind of don't bring a script and I just kind of go. So if there's any questions you have, let me know in the comments below. And I will address them, any of them, all of them. I'm here to answer questions. The purpose of this whole thing is to teach people more about chili. In summation, hatch peppers are not grown anywhere but the Hatch Valley of New Mexico. You're not growing hatch if you grow it in Minnesota. And that's just the way it is. That's about that for that. I wanna do a species video. I keep saying that, but it's just gonna be so much work. 
and that's fine. It'll be worth it. I want you guys to understand the five domesticated species of peppers, chilies, ahis, whatever you want to call them. They're all the same thing. I think I got everything. If that's about all I have for what is a hatch chili really. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. So be well, inspire to perspire, and I hope you have a lovely however long it is until I see you next. Take it easy. Oh my God, what a dork.